Welcome to Toys and Games of Worcester. My name's Tim Evans. This is a business I set up 29 and a half years ago from scratch. So we've been through a few incarnations. We started off as a, a video business, uh, not rental, but sales. Then we sort of developed more into films and memorabilia and toys. And then in the credit crisis of 10, 15 years ago, when Woolies left the high street, we decided to leave all that behind and specialize entirely in toys and games. So we started 29 and a half years ago. So originally we were on the markets, but I wanted to get off the markets as quickly as possible. We moved into Worcester, I think 28 years ago and into these premises 19 and a half years ago. I had a few jobs before I worked at Royal Worcester at the Porcelain Works and then at Rover. I was at Land Rover and then uh, at um, Longbridge with Austin Rover. But my family have always had businesses, so I grew up around business. My uncle had used to repair cars, they had an uh, electrical shop, they had a cafe, they put Space Invaders into locations. My family's from Cardiff, so there was a lot of businesses and a lot of, um, lot of things they were doing in Cardiff that I grew up as a youngster seeing. And I suppose because of that, it's just in my blood. Well, I think any business thinks they're unique. I think we work really hard, perhaps with our customers. We focus with our customers, so we know a lot of our customers' names. So all the products that we stock really is because we know our customers want them. So we're not a business that drives demand. We are very much driven by our customers, what they want, when they want it, and at the price they're willing to pay. Last year we won Independent Toy Shop of the Year and that's got to be a memorable moment. We're really pleased to have uh, won that accolade and that was by the British Toy and Hobby Association, so a high accolade indeed. We're involved with Worcester Food Bank. Every Christmas we raise money for those and we managed to donate £1,000 this year. We also sponsor grassroots football, so children's football. I used to coach at Nunnery Wood Colts. Uh, so Nunnery Wood Colts is one team. We sponsor a, a girls football team at Nunnery and we also sponsor Worcester City Football Club. So I'm very passionate about local football. We've been going 29 years, started from scratch, so it's a lot of hard work, but I think it's that customer focus, knowing what the customers want and just being, we're just one of our customers really, a lot of our customers we are local people, we are local people, I only live a mile away from where shop is and we're very much in touch with our community I think. Just being part of the community, I mean, it's it's a nice place to do business. We're in Broad Street and the businesses here, we've had some change over more recently, but that's mainly because retirements and a new generation of that family didn't want to take over the business. But the businesses in Broad Street have been here a long time, generations. Knowles was here 120 years. Our neighbours were here over 50 years and we've been here over 20 years. So it's that sense of community and that community carries on, even though we've lost some people, but yeah, I think it's the community, it's a nice place to live and it's a nice place to work. Well, we've got new releases on Toys and Games every week. So this week we've got Pokemon, we've got Yu-Gi-Oh, we've got new Lego coming in. But the big one for us, we're really pleased about this, is we've got the exclusive on the new Monopoly Worcester edition. Now that comes out November the 17th this year. We've been working on it since January. We're really pleased on the businesses and properties and landmarks that we've got on the board. And I wrote the community chest and chance cards. So I wrote those and there's been a few more. Why Worcester? Just a nice place to live and work really. I think I've said before, good community, it's safe, it's nice, it's picturesque, it's historic. You can live and work in the same environment. Uh, you don't have to commute miles. I mean, as I say, it's less than 10 minutes for me to get to work. Parking's good, there's so many good things about Worcester, which is why I've never left.